This is what's called in a, a rag chew. They're just talking. With a language all their own. Thanks for the 5.9, I have you 5.5. Five, five. Ham radio operators yeah, converse with people all yeah, over the world. I can send it in Morse code too if you want. Dale clone it with the call sign Kilo Charlie 3 Tango Alpha Uniform. Got into the hobby about a year ago. Uh, I found the, the fun aspect of it, being talk, talking to people in other countries, uh, and even people in the United States and some activities that uh, ham radio operators do. During the height of Hurricane Ian, his hobby became life-saving work. Ham radio operators in particular are here to help out when all other means of communication just don't work. Dale came here to JLS Auto Repair in Hanover to pick up his car after it had been serviced. He started talking to service advisor Allie Smith, who told him her sister was stuck on Sanibel Island. During Allie's last phone contact with her sister, the water was rising to the second floor of their home and their vehicles were submerged. He saw me watching, you know, the news and in a panic and uh, said I could probably help. Once Dale returned home to Maryland, he got onto the Florida emergency net and relayed all of Kelsey's information. Authorities there made contact with her and her boyfriend. Be careful, guys. They were rescued along with eight other people. Dale is a professional firefighter used to saving lives, but this was different. I've never saved anybody with a radio, let alone eight people at a time. I'm hanging in there. I'm waking up every day. I mean, it's a real struggle. Kelsey told me over the phone it's been tough, but she's grateful for Dale's effort. He really put his um, first foot forward to try to make um, a rescue happen, and I will say that was just pure magic. And it didn't seem like a huge deal at first, but in reality, it was life-saving. And a lesson in this high-tech world that sometimes old school works well. Hey, thanks for the 5-7. Have fun out there and 73. Susan Shapiro, WGAL News 8.